all that you are, all that you have, and all that you hope to be. <laughs> that was the correct answer. <laughs> Jumping is allowed. <laughs> <laughs> the wind is catching this mic. Love, love one another, but make not a bond of love. Let it rather be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. Fill each other's cups, but drink not from one cup. Give one another of your bread, but eat not from the same loaf. Sing and dance together and be joyous, but let each of you be alone. Even as the strings of a lute are alone, though they quiver with the same music. Give your hearts, but not into each other's keeping. For only the hand of life can contain your hearts. And stand together, yet not too near together. For the pillars of the temple stand apart, and the oak tree and the cypress grow not in each other's shadow. Katie and Ben, out of the fullness of our love for you, we wish that your journey together be abundantly fulfilling and exciting at every turn. I think you are doing well with that. <laughs> we wish for you laughter and the singing of your souls. We wish for you patience, understanding, and acceptance of yourselves as whole and complete. We wish for you flexibility so that the love which unites you may flow constantly and consistently through the changes of your life. We wish these things for you and more, that life supports you in all of your endeavors, and the Spirit of God lights your way and guides you on your path. And most of all, we wish for you that at the end of your days, you are able to look into each other's eyes and are able to say, because you have loved me, you have given me faith in myself. And because I have faith in myself, all of my dreams have come true. My journey with you has made my life complete. So Ben, as you look into Katie's eyes, repeat these words, after me. Of all the women I have met and known, I choose you to be my wife. I love you, adore you, and cherish you all the days of my life. And now Ben has written vows to read to Kate. I promise to take you as my love and my partner from this day forward, to stand by your side, to listen when you speak, to comfort you when you cry, and to join your laughter with my own. I promise to always be interested in and try to understand your wants and needs, your fears and challenges, your dreams and aspirations. I promise to see you as you are, to believe in you that believes in yourself. I promise to always support you and usually join with you in your healthy diet, <laughs> supplement or workout routine. I promise to always keep my space neat and clean, what you can see of it anyway. <laughs> I promise to be open to new decorating ideas, <laughs> colors, and patterns, except in the man cave. <laughs> and I promise to always let you show me a new perspective. to hold both hands.
and Katie, as you look into Ben's eyes, repeat these words after me. Of all the men, of all the men, I have met and known. I have met and known. I choose you to be my husband. I choose you. I love you. I love you. Adore you. And cherish you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And now Katie has written vows for Ben. If Katie can talk. <laughs> I promise to see you as the perfect and divine being that you are, to always know that you are on your perfect and right path, and to know that God's hand is always at work in our relationship. I promise that my yeses will always mean yes, and that my noes will always mean no. I promise to continue to laugh loudly and fully. I promise to keep growing into a better person every day. I promise to remember to be childlike. I promise to stay passionate in the life that we're building together. And in more practical matters, I promise to keep a few slightly unhealthy things in the kitchen. <laughs> I promise to always be understanding of game night. <laughs> I promise to occasionally go to electronic shows with you. <laughs> and I will even sometimes take your input in decorating. <laughs> and so Katie and Ben are standing before their family and friends. And so I ask you, make a promise. Will you promise to always see them in love? Yes. Will you promise to always support them in their relationship with each other? Yes. Will you promise not to dabble in any gossip or rumor mongering? <laughs> but always hold them up as a happy, healthy, loving couple? Yes. yes. <laughs> Ben, what token of your love have you brought for Katie? Just one, I just want one. Are there two? All right, there are two. All right, there are two. All right. And so I'm going to bless these rings by knowing that these rings are the circle, which has no beginning and no ending. It is the oldest symbol for God or spirit. And these rings represent Ben, the endless and eternal love that links you to Katie. So in that awareness, take them, place them on her finger, and repeat these words after me. I, Ben, I, Ben. take you, Katie, okay. to be my wife, to love you, to love you. and respect you. respect you. I pledge to you. The love of my heart, of my heart. The, light of my the light of my soul, and the integrity of my being. <sighs> and Katie, what token of your love have you brought for them? And this ring also is blessed, knowing that it is the symbol of the circle with no beginning and no ending. It is the oldest symbol for God or spirit, and it represents the endless and eternal love that links you, Katie, to Ben. So in that awareness, place it on his finger and repeat these words after me. Look at him. I, Katie, take you, Ben. To be my husband, to love you and respect you, I pledge to you the love of my heart, the light of my soul, and the integrity of my being. Well done.
<laughs> so Katie and Ben, may your love be pure and strong that you may lean on it in times of trouble and rejoice in it in times of joy. May you keep true to yourselves and in so doing be true to one another. May divine wisdom bless you in this marriage and may you always know the perfect love of God by loving one another. And so now, by the power vested in me by God and the great state of North Carolina, I now pronounce you husband and wife, and Ben, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great privilege to be the very first to introduce Katie and Ben Fitzpatrick. Mike will be walking to the mill room where your reception is tonight. And so if you plan